Hey, what are you guys doing in my oven? You're so, so quirky, crazy. Well, uh, now that you're here, I guess maybe, maybe we can uh, show you around a little bit. So, you know, show you the, what's, what's been happening in, in the With a C household. Give you, give you a little tour, a little backstage tour. And there's no better place to start than the morning cup of joe. here, unshaven and deranged on this Black Friday morning, and I'm currently walking through my house to uh, just kind of fill the space while I head over to the Clawfus. As, as you all know, this is the Clawfus, uh, but what you don't know is that this is the worst chair that mankind has ever invented. We got some faux leather here, which causes you to, to slide out, you know, you can't really keep your keister where you want it, and then the back here it's just it's just not doing the job and and you know I spent all this I spent all this time um, developing art for you guys and um, let's be honest playing a lot of playing a lot of D and D or War I don't know what people Fortnite on on the good old laptop here you know it's just been killing killing my back um, I got my handy dandy tennis ball you know you you put that right between the shoulder blades and you crush your your back against the wall but it's just it's just not getting the job done so I decided uh, we need to do something about it because I'm suffering and that means the people are suffering because what is an artist but uh, a servant of the people whether they like it or not so I have purchased a chair and currently it is it's it's given me some trouble um, I'll be honest uh, I've received a large box with what looks like a metal caterpillar uh, I'm trying to trying to just put this together but you know they didn't send me they didn't send me any instructions whatsoever I mean not even like IKEA picture instructions it's it's got nothing so the first thing I've deduced is they're kind of these little metal guys like you can kind of see in here there's this this metal thing and that keeps it from from going in in the doodad that it needs to go in this guy right here in these little you know I've been trying to jab at it with a with a screwdriver but you know my my little fingernails they're just not they're not doing it so this is this is sort of a behind the scenes video I realize on the last one I was I was two days late from my from my normal every other week every other Wednesday schedule and you know it just uh, I died a little inside, but it, you know, it had to happen. I can't remember what the heck I was doing, but I was probably, probably studying for a test or something, some crap like that. Just trying to give you guys some, some solid minutes, you know, just content, just, just putting that out there for you, you know, keep feeding the people. You can't be expected to go two weeks in, in a day. No, that 14 days is enough. A whole, a whole uh, fortnight. Ugh, they ruined that word. But here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna put together a chair. So it turns out that those did not need to be removed. I just assumed they did because they didn't slide in there like. They were greased with butter or anything. So, well, that was a good 20 minutes I'll never get back, but I like to think of that as 20 minutes for a, a lesson learned that I'll never get back. By the way, I forgot to mention, uh, the main reason I'm I'm doing this is because I had a video that I wanted to record today and I was I was getting all ready to, to do it, but I realized I don't think any of my neighbors are awake. The next one, it, it might be a little loud, so I just figured not the day, not the day to do it, or at least not the time, maybe later today, so. So, uh, I, I found the instructions. I guess I, I owe real space an apology. Yeah, that's kind of embarrassing, but you know, we've been, we've gotten this far, we've gotten this far without it. I mean, look, I, I got the caterpillar already on there, so I feel like we might as well just go ahead and finish the rest of it without this thing. You know, it's going pretty well as is, so, I don't know.
I feel like a fighter jet pilot. I've got like, you know, yaw and pitch and and every I can I can move in on every axis, every plane, and 3D space. <sighs> I love this chair. Well, now that we got that uh, all finished, let's uh let's have a little more behind the scenes. Uh, touring here. Obviously we have the clothes here, but what not a lot of you guys know is uh, my setup. So I use I use this thing to capture bad audio. This is my my light lighting setup. I'll show you that. I use a ring light that I cover with a Vladimir Putin winking t-shirt and it's a little wow that looks that looks pretty disturbing right there. I, I use that shirt because I used to like wearing it, but I kind of thought the chances of getting murdered while wearing it made it not really worth it anymore, and it doesn't really fit that well. Uh, nor there's Gavin, he's taking a nap, so we'll we'll just leave him be. The other thing you might not know about the Clothis is that this is where we keep all of our uh, all of our stuff and all my crap and oh and and the boys. Hey boys, how you doing? Oh, fun fact, this doesn't work. I just like the look of it, and it was $7, and I'm not driving all the way back to Ikea to return a $7 lamp. That's just too much. Um, I don't know if you guys ever see this, but let's let's talk about some of this interesting stuff. So over here, we've got this in the back. This is just a, a music stand uh, that rarely gets used. This is my garbage bag. I have not emptied it since I moved in here, so it's just got papers and napkins and I don't know whatever whatever else I throw in here for about four months here this other pile of garbage this is a degree from my undergraduate university obviously I keep that in a trash bag because it's freaking worthless and this this is probably uh, this is probably the coolest thing here so I'm gonna actually we're just gonna set up the track whoa so in here I have some drawing. My great grandfather was a dentist, and he he drew some some drawings of this is the musculature of the body, and then this is the uh, the arteries of the body. So uh, it's pretty cool because even even like almost a hundred years ago, that was ninety one years ago, they still had a pretty good understanding of where things were. And then this one is uh, obviously the the bones of the body. So. Yeah, pretty cool. So I don't know the best way to put this on like one of these walls or something, but I definitely would like to because it's pretty cool. And um, I've probably never mentioned this in any way, shape, or form, but I actually go to medical school. So um, that probably makes a lot of sense with, you know, the content of the videos. But Alec, that's the style. My medical education kind of informs the content I make. All right, no more shenanigans. Number. You guys probably figured out that I was in, you know, an, an academic field, uh, just given the, you know, the tone, the nature of the stuff in the, that I've put out there. But, you know, we'll just acknowledge it right now, so. Otherwise, it doesn't really make sense why I would put this on my wall, but wow, that's gonna be a nightmare to fold back up. We'll do that off camera. So now if we make our way out of the clothes and wade through this, this pile of garbage here. Uh, we'll get to the here's the, here's the bedroom. We won't we won't go in there. You can just take a peek at that Target bag. This is a remnant of the past. I'm pretty sure our building was made in like the 1980s or something. And it's fun because you never know. It doesn't it doesn't really open. But I, I promise you, like one out of every. Uh, one out of every a hundred times it'll randomly open and so every night I give it a couple turns and occasionally I get it open and it's like ah, it's a, it's a fun little celebration. Um, I don't I don't really have any hobbies. The other thing I wanted to show you was uh, this is this is my can of tuna. Um, I've had it I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Now I know a lot of the famous youtubers like to show off their wealth and you know just they want to make you think they're cool but uh, so that's not my intention behind this I just want to let you guys know that your support is is going somewhere um, that we are well off thanks to all the all the views and that the advertising I'm not trying to not trying to brag this is more just like a you guys allowed me to have this and I might not otherwise have been able to so uh, it's something I wanted for a while 
and we we did go ahead and get it. So um, a four slotted toaster. Yeah, so in case, you know, I want to make some toast, a waffle, uh, some of these, some of these Pop-Tarts, you know, we can do all that at the same time. Four slots. It's, you know, it's, it's good to be alive. So thanks for joining me for the, uh, behind the scenes tour. Gotta pick up those Pop-Tarts. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it right there. I'm gonna have a real video coming out in about a week, week and a half here, you know. This isn't the bi-weekly video, just a little something a little something to, to tide you guys over, you know, just to, you know, wet, wet your beak. It's an appetizer for, for, the, for the main course. So stay tuned, keep that browser open, unless it's Internet Explorer, then download Google Chrome or Firefox and get rid of that thing. And we'll see you later.